All right. So, hey, everybody. Happy Self-Care Sunday. We are so excited to be here with you guys today to talk about one of the most biggest questions, I guess, is serums. What is it for? How do you use it? And what order to put it on? So I want to first introduce my lovely sister <laughs> from another mister, <laughs> Ms. Bina Higgins. So um, she's been a international teacher of skin um, all over the world. She's a medical esthetician. She's amazing, uh, amazing leader as well. Can we just say that? Um, and she has so much knowledge on ingredients. So she is one of the best people to have on here today to talk to you guys about it. So I just want to introduce my Vina. Hey Vina. Hey Shondell. Listen, and I'm gonna introduce this amazing woman sitting here, Shondell. Shondell doesn't even need a second name. It's, I mean, everyone knows Shondell by Shondell, right? She is an esthetician, she's an educator. And, and here's the biggest thing, she is my sister. Her and I, we can talk for hours about skincare and we love talking about that, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, she has an amazing, um, what is it like a like a uh, Instagram and Facebook following? Oh, yeah, my, my following all these people me. following her. So <laughs> I love that, and I love that we really, truly, honestly enjoy our Lumiere de Vie. Yeah. I mean, isn't it just like the best? Mm -hmm. I, I love it. Um, I love the fact that these serums that we have, Shondell. Mm -hmm. You can use them in a professional setting. You can use them at mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. uh, you can use them with really. Uh, on the go. For me, as you can see, I'm in an RV. <laughs> and uh, depending on what state I'm in, mm -hmm. will really depend on um, what serum I'm going to use. Right. And I mean, like right now, Florida, you know, instead of where is uh, uh, Waldo, it's where's Florida, where's Vina, and I'm in Florida. <laughs> and I, and I love it. But it's warm it gets warm i know i'm i'm probably most of the united states is hating me right now but it's <laughs> degrees <You tease them. laughs> and so you know the the biggest thing is well what serum am i going to use to personally customize mm -hmm. where i'm at right now yeah i think and, that's one of the biggest questions i get a lot too yeah and and i love the fact that lumi de v that this particular brand it has a serum for every occasion and mm -hmm. um we'll just kick off the different serums right yeah. Absolutely. You want to talk about right now, um, which serum do you want to talk about? So I was thinking as we go through the serums, I'm actually going to do, because I came on bare face to actually show okay. you guys exactly how I apply it and the order that I put it on and the amount to use. I so love that. When I start off, I always start with my um, toner. And some people use a pad. I like to just spray it on and then I just kind of pat it in. Yes. And let it dry. Yes. And, and for those of you that really don't want to put your hands on your face and pat it, like, mm -hmm. you know, Chandel, she's a professional esthetician. She knows all these little tricks to patting in, right? But, yeah. you know, if you're not comfortable with that, what you simply can do is you can spray it on a cotton round or right. a little what we call four by four. Mm -hmm. And you can use that really to put back on to just pH balance at the skin because it's really important that our skin is pH balanced. You don't want it too dry. Right. Uh, you you really want to get that pH balance on there. So it's really important. It actually acts as a synergy, right, Shondell? Mm -hmm. to bring I was say, because it's going to help with allowing your skin to absorb the serums better because if you put on the serums before putting on a toner, it's really not going to absorb in the skin the way it should. So by toning it and, and balancing the pH balance, it's going to help to absorb everything that you need from that serum. <clears throat> Before we hit the serums, I'm going to go a little rogue here, right? Okay. Yep. And what I mean by that is that, you know, again, I'm in Florida, but even if I wasn't in Florida, I'm going to tell you whatever state you're in, the yeah. first thing you should be putting on is a sun protection when it comes to our chemical, mm -hmm. our chemical Lumi DV brightening cream. It does have an SPF of 50. But here, I know it's hard to see it, right? It's so gorgeous, it's right? <laughs> um, but what I love about this is that it does need to be, because it is what we call a chemical sunscreen. What does that mean? It works uh, chemically to our cells, right? It, what it does is it takes that heat, it changes that heat, it actually changes the radiation into a heat. And it definitely needs to be the first product to hit the cells because what it's going to do is going to protect those cells. So it's really important that before we use any of our serums, it won't conflict with our serums, but we really need to use this SPF 
this mm. brightening cream. Not only does it brighten our skin, but listen, um, it's going to protect you at a cellular basis. Right. And that's what I love about the skincare line is that it's always ahead of trend. It's not just trendy products, it's ahead of trend, right? right. And with this particular sunscreen, uh, it simply will protect you on a cellular basis. And I love that it will do that. Mm -hmm. But it does have to be the first product to hit the cells before any of the other serums. And it won't mess up with your serum. So basically, after you put on your toner, you want to make sure you apply that sunscreen. That's what you're going to put on first before you go any further. And literally, it, it's only like a, not even a nickel size amount. Right. That I'm going to use right. to kind of rub it in together and warm it up at the shelves of your finger, you don't want to put it here because if you put it in your palm, your palm will absorb it as well. So I usually just kind of pat it in the areas that I want it and then spread. Uh, right. And do you notice that she keeps it from out from underneath her eyes? She's going to right. go right up to the bone and she's going to keep it out from underneath the eyes because you really don't need to put it right up underneath the eyes. Right. Okay. So you notice how she's just, she's, she's spreading it but the beautiful thing about this particular um, spf is that it absorbs the absorption is mm -hmm. amazing and it smells good doesn't it, it smell does. good it does but you know what i put it on my lips as well yeah absolutely but if you notice i don't have any white cast yeah. that's how beautiful i love this is one of my favorites i have to say i do too i can't go without it that is yeah that is one product I do not go without and you shouldn't and you know a lot of people go well there's not any sun out that's okay because they're still rays right and they're I'm still gonna get in my window and it's a cloudy day but you see how bright it is on my face mm -hmm. you know, it's cloudy outside yeah. so you're still getting the UV rays that's coming through those clouds so you want to protect your skin before you go any further or walk out the door to spend the time outside Shondell, it's really important too that I think people understand that you shouldn't mix anything. What right. we're doing is we're doing it in layers. In layer, yep. Mm -hmm. Right? We're not mixing it. And what right. that means is you want to give it some time to dry, just a little mm -hmm. time, a couple of minutes, and let your skin really absorb it because right. you want it to be optimal. We're mm -hmm. not we're not combining, we're layering these products. So just like you really notice me and Vina are talking right now, and I'm not adding anything else. I'm allowing it to dry and to go deeper into the skin before I apply the next thing. Right, right. So what about we talk about the big question that we get a lot uh -huh. is uh -huh. vitamin C. Oh yeah. Right. Now I will tell you, I have the older bottle because you know what I did when this came out, I bought a bunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love this vitamin C, right? Right. Listen, you know, the ascorbic acid in here is amazing. What it's doing is for anti-aging is, mm -hmm. right, go ahead. I think you can go ahead and, and show them how many drops that you use. Well, I actually don't have that one because I got okay. it and I didn't get a chance to keep it long enough before I ended up giving it away or even selling it. Listen, I get that. And I do have it because here's the thing, you know, I really want to make sure that my skin stays bright from the brown marks. But also, do you know, if you use this product within 30 days, that in 30 days time, you actually acts as a, a chemical exfoliant. You'll see some exfoliation happening, which I love about this. But the thing that makes this product, I love it so much, is ectonin. So oh. that ingredient ectonin, mm -hmm. it actually is a water binding. Now, right now with our skin, um, you know, us having really dry skin or from the sun or from going in from the heat to the heater, I'm sorry, not the heat, but you know, going into a heater, which yes. is a synthetic heat, it can really dry our skin down. So what I really love is that this does have the ectonin in it to help with the barrier of our skin, because you need a healthy barrier. So I'll just kind of show you, we're gonna use, since you're doing this, can mm -hmm. you see this pretty good? Yep. We're gonna use one, two, about three drops, oh, yeah. push, and then same thing. Mm -hmm. Now. I'm just going to push it in, right? Now, the other thing I'll do is I have a roller. Do you have a roller? Yeah, so I, I actually mm -hmm. have the rose quartz roller that mm -hmm. I'll use to roll it after I put it on. Now, here's the thing I want to tell you is that this product is amazing during the morning time. Mm -hmm. I would recommend using this product during the day because it does work better with more of a balanced pH, which in the morning you have more of a balanced pH, right? Mm -hmm. So I love doing this in the morning. 
this is this is a great one for us and for me in the morning and I do do my neck and I'm not doing the Shondell tip thing too much because I really do have makeup on <laughs> but no, I kind of wanted to show you <laughs> absolutely but you know the one I, I like to use I do like that one but the one of the questions that a lot of people ask is can you mix it with the retinol and it's like hmm, let's think about that so if you're using that vitamin c in the daytime sorry guys if you're using that vitamin C, you don't want to mix it with that right now because it can irritate the skin and it's two very active ingredients. So, so yeah. Shonda, I think what you're saying is you don't want to use it the very same, like in the morning, you can yes, use like the same time. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then in the evening time, you can use um, your retinol. Now, right. the retinol is, a, is, is really amazing. We have, I think, one of the most amazing retinols that are out there and the biggest thing is that this has what we call a polypore 120 in it and what does that mean and why do you even care well let me tell you this polypore 120 this this retinol that has the polypore 120 in it it has a slow release of the retinol of the vitamin a right why is that so important well people like myself that have really sensitive skin when I typically in the past, I try to use a retinol, my skin was very extra sensitive to it and mm -hmm. I couldn't ever use it. And as I'm getting older, you know, I'm getting closer to my 60s than I am my 50s, right? Um, it's really important that, that I have something that I can use on a regular basis. I use a pea size and typically all over. Now you wanna make sure you keep it out from underneath. You can put it on the sides, but out from underneath. But here's the other thing, Shondell, I don't know if you know, but we do also have um, ectonin in it. So the ectonin is also water binding. So it's really great for sensitive skin, it's great for people that have the thicker wrinkles. I mean, it's, it's really great for every skin type. I've never had a, a retinol that's been great for every skin type like we do here. So again, um, the polypore 120 is what makes it different than any other. It's a slow release of the vitamin A. Mm -hmm. I love this. And do you have the retinol? I don't have that one either. Okay. So the retinol, really a couple pumps. You just typical, typically, this is my brand new one because I, I use this like crazy, right? So you, can, can you see that pretty well? Oh yeah, we can see that really good. Okay, don't think I'm gonna ruin, I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna use it on my neck. <laughs> I was gonna ask you, are you gonna put it on your neck or your hands? <laughs> oh, right, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. But I mean, that's a really good point because here's another thing that I do is I will put it on the back of my hand. Right, me too. Right? A lot of my because, products I do the same. <laughs> right, you'll see these people that have really great um, skin mm -hmm. and then you look at their hands and they're all kind of old looking. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> A lot of times you can tell people by their age, by the back of their hands. So that's so true. That's right. That's exactly right. So I really like the fact that we can put that on the back of our hands and it will, again, you know, this is a cellular turnover. So that's why we use retinols. We really want to help encourage that cellular turnover. And as we, um, let's say mature. Yeah, I, was gonna say, I like the word mature. I like the word mature a lot. As we mature, um, really our cells are a lot tougher for yeah, that, that turnover to happen, right? Right, they slow down a lot. So we, we have to find products that help turn it over even faster or keep it going in the regular flow. So yeah. Yeah. I like to go into the next serum, is that okay? Of course. So the one I like to use right after I do my sunscreen, I like the um, serum concentrate. You know, real quick, Shonda, we have a question. Yeah, and it, yeah. can you use retinol year round? Oh, heck yes. Oh, yeah. So here's the thing, you know, the misconception is that in the summertime, because I think I know why they're asking, yeah. um, with the sunscreen, well, two things. Number one, mm -hmm. this is a slow release. So you don't have to worry about it. It's just sitting on your skin. It's slowly releasing into your skin, number one. Mm -hmm. But number two, guess what you're using during the day? right it's going to help you on a cellular basis and that's our brightening spf so that's a great question but yes our our particular retinol remember what i said it has ectonin in it as well and that's water binding so that means it's going to help your skin stay hydrated as well and build that barrier so yes absolutely can use it during the year round and even in florida look at me in the sun right. 
I'm still it's using cold it. cold weather where I'm at in Connecticut, so. Just yep. so you know, this, this is a tan, Shondell, just so you know. This is nice. yeah. Look at you. <laughs> this is as tan as I get. Anyway, um, so yeah, what serum would you like to use next? So I'm using my um, Serum Concentrate by Lumiere, okay. which is my other favorite. Um, I actually like this one. To me, I have combination skin. So with this, and again, that's, you only need a little bit. You can see that. Yeah. Oh, I love, I love this particular serum. <laughs> well, and, and I do the same thing like I did with the sunscreen. I kind of pat it in the areas where it's all around. So you want it to spread and you don't want to put it all in one spot at one time. And I like to spread it and then pat it in. Well, I mean, you have to remember what we're trying to do too. I mean, we're not only looking at the anti-aging part, but especially right now, we're looking at building a healthier barrier. Right. And this has the juvenescence, which is basically brown algae extract, right? So that's going to support a stronger barrier. And why is that so important to have a really strong barrier? Well, when you have a strong barrier, you it actually will promote collagen. It actually will promote... Um, your skin looking healthier mm -hmm. and firming and toning, which don't we all love? I was gonna say, we all need that. <laughs> <laughs> so my favorite word is bakukul, right? And this has bakukul in it. Mm -hmm. So bakukul promotes collagen. Right. Who doesn't want their collagen promoted, right? I love that. So this particular one I'll use, um, I use my serum, mm -hmm. right? And then I'll use, I will use my vitamin C. Nice. And then I use my serum concentrate. Yeah. So I always use my SPF first, my vitamin C, mm -hmm. and then our serum concentrate, right? I love that. I like that it makes my face feel firm. Uh -huh. It kind of like, not lift, but you can feel it like tightening a little bit. Well, it's okay. active. I mean, it has all these active ingredients, which right. I love. And you can, I, I like that the way you're saying it. Yeah, you can, you can feel like it's doing something. You're just it's not literally feel something. like it's lifting up your face. And yeah. who doesn't want that at 40? Hello, I need that right now. Oh, to be <laughs> at 40, 40 I needed yeah. to hold as much as it can. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole thing about this particular line is what are you trying to achieve? Right. Now for me, I mean, there's a couple different ways and we've talked about there's, there's a couple ways that you're going to age. You're either going to age with wrinkles right. or saggy skin, right? Be the wrinkles. <laughs> no, you're not wrinkles. No. So I am going to, I am going to lose elasticity, right? I'm going to, I'm going to age with sagging skin. So I'm really going to look at products that are firming and toning. Mm -hmm. And so, so that being said, I said that, right? <laughs> That being said, the serum concentrate for your question is it's really going to depend on if you have like a stage four acne where your acne is, you have a lot of pustules and things like that, then you're going to be better served with using our line that has more of the benzoyl peroxides in it, mm -hmm. right? The serum concentrate is going to going to be amazing once we get that under control. Mm -hmm. So it's really going to depend on what acne issue you're talking about and where you're at. So, um, but, you know, we talk about the serum concentrate. Uh, it's great for, especially if you're going to be in front of blue light, mm -hmm. you know, that brown, uh, that brown algae is really great about protecting the barrier of your skin. Mm -hmm. And we're all doing zooms and we're all on our phones. The is like one of the big ones. <laughs> <laughs> right. So this is really great about supporting that barrier, protecting your skin. So this is, this right here is I, I almost have a uh, anxiety when I run out of, of this one. I, right. I won't That's so true. Like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, right <laughs> now, I'm the same way. You know, we're talking about using, I mean, this serum is for everyone. I mean, mm -hmm. completely for everyone. Again, we'll go back to the acne if uh, that issue is going to be more of an active acne or just you're got a few pimples. You right. can absolutely use it. But here's the one thing that. <laughs> I absolutely love. And if you've ever heard me talk before, I think everyone, I hand this out like it's candy to everybody. And that's our needle-free serum, right? I was just going to say, I got a feeling you're going to say that one. You know, I'm going to talk about the needle-free serum. I love our needle-free serum. Yeah. Um, you know, I always say, be careful with people. If you never see any lines at all, I'd be afraid of them, right? Because they don't have any expression lines, right? <laughs> so we, we have plenty of expression lines, right? We laugh a lot. <laughs> <laughs> here's the here's the beautiful thing about this needle-free serum you it literally has 
the ingredients. It has the neodermal. The neodermal is amazing. They have so many clinical studies on this neodermal ingredient, but this is what I love. It has the, the Lipton and Express, which immediately you're going to see the lines gone. Right. Lines are gone. Like mm -hmm. I always cannot believe what my forehead looks like. I used to do other things to keep those lines away. And now, <laughs> honestly, this right here, this particular product, mm -hmm. um, I, I always feel like my, my skin looks fresh. And that's simply because um, it does help alleviate those, those lines. Mm -hmm. Um, you're never too young in case you're ask, asking, you're never, too, I mean, obviously not teenager, but you know, <laughs> once you start getting in the sun, once you yeah. start, um, again, this blue light can be, you know, very detrimental to your skin, but you're never really, I, I would say by the time you're in your thirties, this is, mm -hmm. will be your best friend because it's great for preventative as well. Um, mm -hmm. the needle free serum, it's, it's really great for tightening. That's the lifting and expressing it. It tightens. That Botox in the bottle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> but I, I will tell you, I, I even my my friends that that do injectables, they'll yeah. use this afterwards because they they feel like um, if anything was missed, this kind of picks it up. So That's now awesome. this would be used in areas. Mm -hmm. This isn't so much all over. You know, <laughs> some people are like, can I take a bath in it? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> But um, this can be used, I always like to say areas, you know, mm -hmm. forehead, mm -hmm. the sides. Um, for me, again, you know, how I'm going to age is I lose elasticity. Mm -hmm. So I like to say my jowls, <laughs> my jowls right here. Yeah. Yeah. I love putting them there. Uh, so I love this needle free stem. This is. Yeah, I'm not there yet with the needle free, but I know I will be visiting you very soon. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> because again, remember it's also can be preventative. It doesn't right. really necessarily have to be, um, you know, what you already have them. You're trying to back that mm -hmm. train back up. Right. But you again, you use all the serums. You use the ones that you need right. for your skin and what your, your skin is asking for. So yeah, that's, that's exactly what we're saying is <laughs> that what you do is you definitely want to make sure you find mm -hmm. that regimen that's going to work for you. And for me, um, again, that's another one that I can't live without is the needle free mm -hmm. serum. I love it. But you know, one I've been using a lot since I've been in Florida, which by the way, if anyone here is in Florida, that's listening, I love Florida. <laughs> I absolutely love Florida. Oh my goodness. I love Florida. Um, but I've noticed that um, I was getting a little more oily and why? Because my skin was getting a little more dehydrated. Mm -hmm. So if you all know, as your skin gets dehydrated, you tend to produce a little more oil, mm -hmm. especially if you have oily skin anyway. Mm -hmm. And so I've, I've always used it like here or there. I have used this every day now. <laughs> and that's my pore minimizing serum. Oh yeah, I like that one too. I love it. If you're gonna be under lights, I mm -hmm. mean, if I'm doing a lot of zooms and I have that, I have that light that makes me look flawless. Right, right. <laughs> it's hot, it gets warm, right? It does. But I love this one too, because you know, you can also use it as like a tinted, Found, I guess you could say foundation because you can put it on without putting on foundation. It's going to give you that flawless, smooth. It's going to make your pores look smaller. Right. Um, me personally, because um, I am darker, I like to put it on underneath. I mean, I'm sorry, after my serums. And then I'll kind of go in with um, my moisturizer on top because I right. noticed that if I use too much of it by itself, it does look a little chalky, just a little bit. Well, but and the again, it's in that mount too. Yeah, and the abermat, which is the ingredient that's really actively absorbs excess oil. Mm -hmm. And I love that because we don't want to, I don't want to be dry. Right. And, and really, let's make sure you guys understand that um, this is not a tinted moisturizer. Mm -hmm. This is an active serum. Right. So what I've been doing is after my needle-free serum, I've been putting this all over. Right. And really, and, and Shondell, thanks for showing them. You really want to make sure you, you use this on your neck as well. Right. right. I tend to sweat there, but I also tend to get a very oily there. And so it's really important that because this does have the app of mat, which absorbs excess oil, right. um, it literally will help your skin um, not be so oily. 
So it's not going to dry your skin down. That's kind of a no. misnomer that it dries your skin down, right? Now the breast derm in it. So they they have like a, a filler in it. It fills in like the little yes, right? The little it feels wrinkles. So smooth when you put it on as well, right? And so you know that's like we said. Let's let's kind of let's kind of stop real quick and go over. Um, we're gonna we're gonna wash. We're gonna tone. And again, um, I always recommend using our brightening let me to be brightening right uh, first cream mm -hmm. right it has the spf in it mm -hmm. and that is not going to get in the way at all of um, mm -hmm. any of your serums so you're going to use this right now what you're going to do is you're going to decide okay what am i trying to achieve right. because we do have there's there's a lot of products but the biggest thing you want to achieve is have a healthy looking skin right mm -hmm. so if you were going to use a vitamin c you would do the vitamin c now I always say it's going to go um, thinnest to thicker. Right. So you're going to use your vitamin C. Then uh, let's talk about morning, the vitamin C in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use your serum concentrate, right? And then you're going to decide, okay, from your serum concentrate, which I think everyone should be using, mm -hmm. where am I going? Well, for me, it's going to be, I'm going to do an active treatment. Yeah. Now, my active treatment for me is my needle-free serum. So that's going to be on those areas, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Those are going to be in the areas that I'm trying to change. So that's going to be that. Right. Now, because right now in being in Florida, <laughs> my face, I'm not wearing makeup mm -hmm. because I don't feel like I need it. So instead, I am putting on um, my pore minimizing serum. Mm -hmm. Again, remember thinner to thicker. Mm -hmm. Now, that would be my daytime regimen. My nighttime regimen would be wash, tone, serum concentrate. Mm -hmm. And then from our serum concentrate, we're going to, again, I'm gonna use active, my active treatment, which is my needle free. And then instead of, of my, um, uh, you know, instead of using my vitamin C, I'm gonna use, I'm, sorry, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use my moisturizer. Now, if I'm gonna add in my retinol, mm -hmm right? We're going to do our retinol at the very beginning before, before our serum concentrate. And then we'll add our serums on. So hopefully a lot of people mix those up. So that's good to know. Yeah. So you want to make sure you're, this is going to be an active treatment. This mm -hmm. is a lot of people will use a retinol every night, but not always. Like for me, I use my retinol three times a week. Mm -hmm. Uh, some people like using it every night. It's really to your preference. For me, three times a week is plenty. So when I do use my retinol, I'll use it right after my toner. Now, here's the one thing that we'll, we'll kind of talk about a little bit. If you're going to use your retinol, please put your eye cream on first. Yeah. Okay. And then your retinol. Mm -hmm. It's really, really important because you don't want to cross over. You don't want to get the retinol up underneath the eyes. Yeah. Definitely don't. Okay. You want to keep it full low. Mm -hmm. So that being said, you want to make sure you use your eye cream, your retinol, your serum, mm -hmm. your active treatment. Okay. My active treatment is my needle free serum. Mm -hmm. And then, um, onto my moisturizer. Now during the day, I'm going to use my wash, my tone, your vitamin C yeah. serum, active treatment now because i'm in florida i'm <laughs> definitely using this for minimizing because i'm like everything's sliding off of me mm -hmm. so hopefully what do you think shondell i think that's good so i i just want to talk about one more serum that i that's not um that we haven't talked about which is my rebirth serum this is my favorite i go to this one it makes my face feel so moisturized and i feel like it locks it in too so I usually go in with a little bit of that as well. So again, you only need like a pump or sometimes two pump of whatever product that you're using because you don't need a lot. And it spreads very easily on its own. But to me, um, with it being so dry in my house with the heat going, this helps to moisturize my skin so well and locks in the moisture. Well, and you know what? There's another serum that I've, we forgot to talk about and I don't know why we forgot to talk about it but I you're right I love that serum you're using that is an amazing serum 
Yeah, this is one of my favorite. I use this one every single day, morning and night. Well, what do you think about the fading fluid? So I haven't experienced that one yet. Okay. I figured I would let you talk more on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so the fading fluid, I really love it because it really has um, interesting ingredients in it. So I always recommend this to anyone that's working on um, brown marks on their skin, mm -hmm. whether it's a melasma or a hyperpigmentation. But I also recommend this to people that tend to have that ruddiness, that redness in their skin as well. Oh, yeah. Now, part of that is because it has bisable, which is a German chamomile. So it really calms the skin. So it's really calming to the skin, but it also works amazing with hyperpigmentation or brown mark. Mm -hmm. So where I would use that one, would be is I would use that if I were actively remember we talked about we use our we use our serum and then our active treatment mm -hmm. so you're going to use the fading fluid right after your serum now okay? I have a question I know we also have another product that helps with um dark marks would you use both of them which is the um oh what is it called the super cream and it's not a serum it's it's the actual treatment cream but would you use both yeah, absolutely. So I, I love the serum. Remember, uh, this a serum is, to me, it, your serum is always going to be your active product. Your serum is going to be um, that one too, because the molecular structure of a serum mm -hmm. goes deeper into the skin. So it's going to find what it needs to find, mm -hmm. and it's going to work on that particular um, uh, challenge that your skin might have. So hopefully we've answered most of the questions i know we only have a small time but hopefully we answered all the questions again one more time you're going to wash you're going to tone you're going to use your spf which is your chemical sunscreen mm -hmm. which is our luminate v brightening cream then we're going to do your serum you're going to do your active treatment which is going to be either like your fading fluid or your needle free serum or any of that mm -hmm. correct and then you're going to use um, for minimizing yep. and we're going to call it. So I had so much fun talking about this. I think, uh, I think we, we kind of hit everything. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, even after you finish your serums, then that's when you would go into your moisturizers. And all right. That. Yeah. Right. 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 So, well, you guys, thank you so much for getting on today. Um, Again, this is like us talking over the phone because we talk almost every day. So this is this is a lot of fun. Um, you always can, uh, if you have any questions, just just let us know. We're always here for you. And again, I'm Vina, and I'm Chando, and we're all and, here. just reach out. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. Have a good Enjoy your Sunday.